Hi, Tom Kubinek, Secure Tactical. Um, today, I've got a secured Model 52 gun cabinet. We refer to this as an ultralight gun safe. I want to talk a little bit about the cabinet and how it relates in terms of protection and security compared to what most Americans believe to be fire rated gun safes. What I want to show you is in our ultralight gun safe, you're getting the same level of protection that you have in these big thousand pound monsters. Now the construction of a traditional gun safe. This is a Chinese safe, this is a US made safe. It's a steel cabinet, anywhere from 11 to 14 gauge or even in some cases 16 gauge steel. It's got drywall, fire protection and carpeting. First thing I want you to look, and this is on all safes, UL listed. Now, they use the UL listing as a bragging point, UL listed. But what, are the, what is this really saying? It's UL listed residential security container. This is the same rating, UL listed, security listed, 8M10. That is the residential security container listing. The standard for RSC is to block access for I believe five minutes. It's using an 18 inch pry bar. A pry bar less than 18 inches, which is pretty small, a hammer less than three pounds. Now that's a 1950s threat level. A guy in your house with a, with a small crowbar and a little bitty hammer. Modern thieves are gonna come in with a plasma cutter, with a diamond cutting wheel on a tool. We've got the video shot where I cut the whole side of the safe off in about 15 minutes. These residential security containers are being sold as safes, giving you a perceived level of security. However, when you break it right down to actually gaining access to this monster or our ultralight, it's the same. You're cutting through the same amount of steel. All right, now let's talk about fire ratings. I've got a, it says 45 minute fire rating. This one says 60 minutes fire certified. What does that actually mean? Well, it's not a UL certification. These are independent. Liberty does their own testing. This is a Chinese safe. I'm sure this is a peel, just a, just a sticker that goes on. I'm not sure there's any testing done at all in these. Liberty set, establishes a test or a testing agency that does a test for them. Uh, I encourage you to do your own research. There's some great articles out there. The data supports that whether your guns survive in a safe like this or a gun cabinet or a wooden box has more to do with the nuances of how the fire burns than the actual rating of the container that they're stored in. But these are being sold and advertised as fire rated gun safes. Um, per UL standards, they're not safes at all. They don't meet the standard. So you're getting a big, big heavy cabinet with what I'm gonna say is a perception of security. I don't believe the security is there. And if you've got a safe in your house and you've got a thief in your house and everything you own, the value is in the safe, he knows exactly where to go. He's got one tin can to open. He's got access to everything. Now, to achieve a fire rating in a true fire rated safe, it's steel, inner steel, and it's filled with a specific type of concrete. What these gun safes or gun cabinets or whatever you want, residential security containers do, is it's a steel cabinet with drywall. Both of these use a, basically drywall you use in your house, anywhere from uh, five eighths to a couple of inches thick, and they put carpeting over it. Now, drywall has its own issues in a gun safe. Drywall has formaldehyde in it, which is a chemical they use, I think, as a preservative in drywall. Formaldehyde also, though, is very corrosive. To steel, nickel, copper, it can increase corrosion in a gun very, very quickly. Now, you've also got bacteria. In almost all of the drywall that comes out of China, it has acidithiobacillus ferrooxidin bacteria. And what that is, it's a bacteria that is in the drywall. It doesn't affect people. It's a bacteria that eats iron eats sulfur. Now, sulfur is a compound in drywall and it produces sulfuric acid in very small quantities. But you ever notice some gun safes have a sulfury smell to them when you open it. So you actually look at what they're doing here. They're saying it's a fire rating, but there's no real test. UL will not give these a fire rating. They don't meet the standard. 
and they're using materials that are detrimental to long-term health of firearms. All this is based on this myth that if you put a thousand pound gorilla in your room and put your guns in it, that they're gonna be safer than putting them into a steel cabinet. And that's just, the data doesn't support that. There's, UL has a couple of ratings. They have a rating for safes, and they have a rating for fireproof safes. None of these have those ratings. It's two separate ratings. This is rated as a residential security container. And all that means is a guy with a hammer and a small pry bar can't get into it in five minutes. All right, so all these block bars and all this mass and weight really is to get you to spend a lot of money on, on a perception of security. So that's why we make the Model 52. This is our, we refer to it as an ultralight gun safe. It's an all steel 14 gauge gun cabinet. Now this cabinet uses, it's our patented deadlock system. It actually ships flat and you assemble it. The patent pendant system has eight bolts. Once bolted together, this thing is as rigid and as strong as any welded cabinet. What it gives you is proper storage for your firearm, something safes can't do. This holds six rifles. Now this safe, I think, say it holds 60 rifles or 40 rifles. I'll bet I can't fit 20 in there. This one is a 29-gun steel water out of China. Uh, we have a video, we put 11 rifles in it with scopes and they would not fit. There's no perception here. This is what it is. This is a steel cabinet designed to lock your guns. It'll keep kids out, it'll keep you know, opportunistic thieves out. If somebody breaks into your house and you're gone for a weekend, it doesn't matter what you have. They're gonna cut it in two. That's the reality of the world we live in now. With modern, high-powered, battery-operated tools, you're gonna cut through any one of these cabinets. What this gives you, though, is a lighter weight, easier to deal with, cabinet. You can put these in closets, you can put these upstairs, downstairs, multiple units throughout your house. With a big safe, you've centralized everything. A thief finds a safe, he's got everything. Cabinets give you the ability to break stuff up a little bit. Also, the average American moves every seven years. This cabinet breaks down and moves very easily. We've tried to design a modern cabinet to meet you know, the modern lifestyle. Things are getting lighter, simpler and easier to use. You don't need to saddle yourself with a thousand pound, you know, it's the thousand pound gorilla in the room. So educate yourself so you can make an intelligent firearm storage decision.